All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Colby Chaos Covington and Khabib Nurmagomedov. So here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweight say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler. Holy professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimago Meda! And now to see his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. UFC's unofficial home base, T-Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC run. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so. Then. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the rest of and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Oh, 
Nurmagomedov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, Pulse your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under two minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cubs. Lands with the right hand. Close guard. He's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Nurmagomedov. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost arc in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so 43 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And they separate. Stuff to take down, no problem. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, he connects with another uppercut. He's landed two big ones so far. That is his best one. He finds it from so many different positions, and he can find that uppercut from both sides of the body. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Covington. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Final seconds of round one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Round two coming up next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Second round here. So 
there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finishes. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You've got to be careful. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Covington. This lands the ground and pound strike. Right punches there. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Covington. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Margo Medov's right back to the full mount here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. So 93 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing at a 72% clip tonight thus far against Colby Covington. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here. Oh, the late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nice Nurmagomedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Ooh, what a punch. He's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Covington. Big power shot there. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early in the takeoff. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Picks him up and slams him down. A big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, and he's attacking choke now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. That is tight. Done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he 
gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out, Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.